one of the things that's been most important to me about the group of people that I've been building up and working with here on the YouTube gaming platform is how close some of us have become as friends. And I put together a video a little bit earlier looking back at my last year of streaming on YouTube gaming and how everyone came to be and what their best memory was and everything else like that. That included quotes from Dark Jake 13 who was just here. It included quotes from, from many of the people who are in the retro community and other communities and everything else like that. And that's great. But one of the things that it didn't really talk about as much is you know, how much or in what ways the community really comes together to support each other. So earlier this weekend, a friend of ours who is in the retro streaming community, Soybomb, uh, you know, posted that his laptop was dying and we were able to, via a number of people who support him, in order to make it possible for him to go out and get new hardware to stream from. I think this was totally beyond his expectations. He didn't realize this was a thing that could happen nearly as quickly as it did. Basically, in 24 hours, you're able to turn around from nothing to him being able to go and buy a laptop. He'll have it on Friday and be able to start streaming again because there are those of us who are you know, part of his community of supporters and everything else like that and, and wanted to be able to do that. And I think that's awesome. But it's not just this one instance. It comes out in charity streams all the time. You know, if you look at the extra life streams that we did, I got more than $1,300 in donations to charity on our behalf. Uh, I, I got more than, um, you know, our team got more than $4,000 in donations. Uh, the YouTube gaming developer team, the Buffer Killers, got more than $5,000 in donations, all through these, you know, just basically communities of people we've been able to build up. And some of the people who donated are right here in this stream now, are supporters of the stream and everything else like that. And I think that it is incredible that all of you have done so much to support all of us throughout these, these streams. The YouTube gaming family... Uh, you know, started small. I still remember when basically you could know everyone who was in the top 20 streams in English, you know, and, and know all of them all the time because there were only like 20 of them. There wasn't a lot of rotation. And now a day can't go by that I can't look at the top, you know, 20 streams and see five, 10 different channels that I don't know to pull up the list of people playing Mega Man or Super Mario Brothers and see someone I don't know. The YouTube gaming community has grown so much that Obviously, this has changed a lot. But one of the things that I really love is that there is still this ability to build sub-communities of, of, you know, groups of, of people who support each other, to build sub-communities of people who are able to work together and create these supportive communities. And so Stingray Gaming and Soybomb and Snap Click Cat and myself, you know, I describe us as the retro squad. And it's not even fair to just limit it to that because then you've got Escape Root British and, and, uh, and Proto Sam and other folks like that as well, who are part of this, this community of retro streamers that have been able to be out there and support each other. And it's also not just the streamers, but also others who are in the community uh, you know, who are viewers, who are supportive. And I appreciate all of them. I appreciate that they are there for us as viewers. I appreciate that they are there for us as subscribers. I appreciate that they're there for us as promoters. I appreciate that they're there for us as, you know, sponsors in the form of Patreon or donators on a regular basis or anything else like that. But most importantly, what I appreciate is on those few times a year, where someone really needs something, you can know it's going to be there. And so to turn around from zero to more than $600 in donations, uh, I mean, Canadian dollars, admittedly, but, but dollars in donations overnight from a community was something that I think that, I, I might be wrong, but judging from his Twitter reaction, Soybomb wouldn't have expected. And I'm not even sure that he was intending to set it up. And I said, no, dude, like set up a donation goal. Let us know. Like, here's how you use the URL. Like, tweet this out and, and we'll take care of it for you. And, and I threw in some because I've had Patreon support. And so I felt comfortable taking some of my Patreon support and pushing it back towards him, um, as well as, as others who were able to throw in and turn that around very quickly. It's not just about Soy Bomb and it's not just about that community. It's not just about a single community. It's about all of the things that, that 
are out there and all of the ways that we do support each other. And not just financially, but but as I said, via promotion and cross promotion and working together and, and everything else like that. Uh it's it's awesome to have this community pull together to support the causes that are important to us. It's awesome that I can know that if tomorrow afternoon, you know, I lose everything, that I'm gonna have this group of people who are gonna be able to reach out and support me and do something to support me because I feel like, you know, you're there for me and I appreciate that. So thank you in the community who've been here for a, more than a year in the community who've been here for more than, you know, a day in the community who've been here for more than an hour. I appreciate all of it. I appreciate that you're here. I appreciate that, you know, you're here even when I piss you off. I appreciate that you're here even when you look at me and say, look at that rich asshole, because I am. I appreciate all of it. Because it's great to feel like I've got a little bit of a family put together here, and that if something really needs to get done, they're going to be there to help me get it done. So thank you for supporting me and other members of our community and being friends. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for supporting us. And thank you for continuing to be here and support us as we go forward. I'm the Chris Who Plays Games, and this has been your CPG rant of the evening. <laughs>